GraphPad Prism 8 introduces a whole host of new features, some of which I'll discuss in the tutorials over the next few weeks. But one of the features I'm particularly excited to see is the new drawing tools that allow you to add bars showing significant differences between groups. Up until now, the way of adding significant information on a data set is to use the text tool, the T, to click on your graph and to add a star or a series of stars or other symbols to indicate significance. Conveniently, these will snap to the centre of your bars or your text lines or other graphs and you can move them around between data sets to indicate that there is significance between data sets. Obviously you'd need to support this in your figure legend to explain what the uh, star means. This is all very well and good and very handy and a lot of people will use this in their graphs. However, some people like to use lines along the top of their graph to indicate differences between groups. So let's delete that star for the moment and go to the drawing tools. A new addition to the drawing tools down the bottom is the lines with text function. You can see there are a selection of formatted lines including lines with arrows, lines with bull bars on the end of them and lines with big uh, drop downs or drop ups. But for the purposes of this example I'm just going to use a horizontal line. By clicking at any starting point, holding the shift key and dragging horizontally, I can drop this line on my graph and automatically Prism will ask me what text I wish to put in the box. It knows that I'm trying to do a difference between groups and gives me the choice of NS for non-significant, a series of stars or hash signs. I'm just going to choose a single star in this instance. I can then tidy up the end and make it fit into my uh, space a little bit neater and if I double click on the line I can then choose the thickness of the line to fit with the style of my graph. Now what I have is a lovely horizontal line indicating that there is a significant difference between my 0 and 100 millimolar drug dose in a style that some users will find very useful.